Today I'm just going to talk about when we're going to start prep and what we're doing uh, uh, diet wise and just the mindset uh, and where we're at right now. What's up guys? So this is coming to you from Casa Ansley. <laughs> we're going to be talking to you guys today. We're going it's just a lot different from the, you know, the grueling, intense training and workouts that you guys have been used to seeing. We're definitely going to get back to that. But um, today I'm just going to talk about um, the plans and the, the short future and the long term future um, this year, when we're going to start prep and what we're doing uh, uh, diet wise and just the mindset. Um, where we're at right now. So for the past three months, three, four months, maybe about a month right before quarantine, starting in about February, I was, uh, it was off season to the max, like, right, to put on some more muscle fibers in all the areas, lacking body parts, and bring up even strong body parts. And that's exactly what we've been doing. Uh, we've been pretty successful at it for the past four months. Um, now, I've been going hard, guys. Luckily, I've been blessed to be able to train at a private gym through the whole quarantine, and um, I haven't missed a beat, which I'm so very blessed and so very lucky uh, in that re regard. Poundage-wise, I've got up to about 225. Uh, that's my heaviest weight that I've ever been at, and it's still fairly lean, so I'm pretty satisfied that I've probably put on some good muscle fibers, some lean muscle. I haven't done, you know, any body fat or I haven't measured anything uh, body fat wise or how much muscle we've gained or anything like that. But, you know, over the been doing this long enough to where you know what your body composition is and what what you're looking like to the quality that you're possessing at the time. And then you combine that with what your the scale is saying, what kind of lines you still have and all that stuff. Right. You just really start to know your body and understand your body and um, be really familiar with your body. So specific uh, muscle groups, guys, that I want to bring up, uh, lats for sure, lats, triceps, and quads, um, and then also lower back, and then also uh, the lower back thickness. So almost damn near everything. <laughs> Um, and, and I, and I'm pretty confident that we've done that and we've, we've accomplished that. So that's, um, that, that was, that's what the off season is for, uh, for the improvements. And, uh, we most definitely, uh, put that time in and so there's, there's still more time to go. There's still more time to go, maybe about another three weeks to go to make the improvements and to see if we can possibly, you know, not, maybe we're not going to probably add any more fibers in three weeks, but we can add some quality. We can improve on quality. That's for sure. Like I said, we, we, we've gotten up to 225, the heaviest I've ever been. So I'm very excited of where the muscle is going to really show uh, when it's time to come down and when it's time to shred down and get all the way down to 180, fam. Uh, uh, the, the weight that I have to come down to remains the same. 180 pounds and it's going to be if we can be as shredded as we were last year or um uh or better that's the goal we definitely if we can be equally as shredded we will be equally as shredded last year or better with a little bit more three four five six pounds more muscle then it's a win then it's most definitely a win and it most definitely will be a problem for the rest of the field. Now you got to take into account that when you have to come down so far that we might still lose a little muscle. So that's why I say uh, three, four, five, you know, three, four, five, six pounds uh, of muscle will show on stage rather than about, you know, 10, uh, 11, 12, because you might, we might lose some. I mean, we probably will lose some when you have to come down so far. The idea is to not lose that much and start further out. Don't start like, for instance, 11 to 12 weeks out so close to the show. So you have to really hit it hard and hit it fast and start losing fast, but gradual, a gradual process, a gradual loss, uh, getting lean gradually is the key to uh, sustaining and holding on to as much muscle as possible. So then that brings me to us when we're going to actually uh, start. Well, let me back up just a little bit. I'm taking this week off after four months of uh, building and four months of the dieting and 
6,000 calories a day, uh, you know, 6,000 to 6,200. Uh, 6, now we're taking this week off, no, tr no training, um, just resting and doing this week with just carbs in the morning, our oatmeal in the morning, our cup of oatmeal in the morning. And those are the only carbs throughout the rest of the day. And then we'll just have uh, protein and fats uh, throughout the rest of the day in five or six meals a day since we're not training. Most definitely, guys, I know you guys think sometimes, you know, you, or you wonder if you're going to lose muscle when you don't train. And the key to not losing muscle is just to keep your, your meals, just to keep your protein in there, at least your protein, for sure. Um, if you're not training and you don't have much output uh, going in uh, or, or um, that your body is exerting, then uh, you're not putting the carbs to use like you need to, right? So you will tend to maybe hold on to a little bit of the carbs and a little bit of more glycogen, which wouldn't be ideal, you know, in, in, in remaining lean and remaining sharp and remaining uh, refined. We're just gonna keep the, the protein pretty high and uh, cruise on uh, out this week. Feeling great about it. Then next week we'll start back training, okay? Uh, we will hit it hard again next week up until about the second week of July. Then we're going to train for about four days a week, maybe even three, three, four days a week and kind of cruise, you know, just not be too intense with it, not uh, make sure every training counts, you know, and every, tra every training session is too intense to give the body um, a little bit more rest and a little bit more, uh, re, you know, recovery and rejuvenation, and then ready to hit it hard and ready to hit it, then ready for that intensity August 1st. Because remember guys, I said I have to lose more weight this time, so it's gonna be a longer prep this time, right? So you have to uh, um, be ready for that mentally. You have to give your body enough rest and enough uh, uh, rejuvenation, like I said, um, to, be ready for a longer prep. It's going to be 16 weeks, August 1st, I believe. And that's the longest I've prepped for a show. It's usually, you know, uh, 13, 12, even 11. That's the game plan. We're going to try to hold this, this weight around, uh, you know, to 225, even drop down to about 220, uh, you know, uh, in the process of uh, the, that whole July process of kind of cruising and kind of just, you know, in the gym keeping things sharp and keeping a pump and then before august before we hit it hard and before we uh go go for the the third championship and go for the third title i'm very excited to uh to go on the journey i'm very excited for you guys to be on this journey with me um, i'm very appreciative of you guys and uh we're going to give it all we have man we're going to give it all we have to make sure we bring it home do everything we uh in our power and we can do to bring it home all right so uh, much love. I appreciate you guys. Next time I'll probably do a Q and a, um, because I'm not training this week. Remember, or we'll do something else. We'll do something fun, uh, and figure it out for you guys, but the Q and a for sure. So you guys get your questions in, uh, get your comments in. I most definitely, um, will get to them and uh, be happy to answer them on the next YouTube video. Um, and like I said, we'll have fun with it, all right? So subscribe, guys. Uh, appreciate the love, and we are out. See you on the next video.